end of Houston today gonna surprise Heather she's done with her Airbnb she's gotten completely out of our jet lending loan and refinance I think she's inside cleaning we've already been to this house before but we're gonna surprise her again and see what it looks like 100% completed and furnished come on guys let's go Heather hey. what's going on how are you I'm so good good to see you oh good to see you so, I hate that I surprised you again, but you told me you were done and I saw that you refinanced out of our loan. I want to come by and see the place. Come and see. Okay. I'm so happy you came Great. back to see the final, the finished product. It looks amazing. Just, just in here, it looks open and, and tell us what you did. Tell us everything. So, if you remember, this whole thing was, you know, this house was built in the 50s. Everything was walled off. The kitchen was walled off. It had a doorway that you had to walk through to get in. Everything was walled off, sectioned off into to tiny rooms, and it was very small, very closed. We took all those walls out and completely opened it up. My designer, Hu Man, was fantastic. He took this 1,100 square foot house, he added 90 square feet, wow. and turned it into from a two one, two bedroom, one bath, to a three bedroom, three bath. Okay. And and design and modernized it with this amazing open concept. Okay. And then we got a surprise in the back, but we're not going to say anything about that yet. But we got a surprise in the <laughs> back that I know's back there because of the first walkthrough. So if you're watching this for the first time, we'll put a link to the before and then now the after. So take us through the house. All right, come on in. So as you as you said, this is an open concept living room, uh, kitchen with a beautiful island. Uh, and this is the dining room. Uh, we have a full-sized washer and dryer back here. And of course we have a locked closet. This will be an Airbnb property, so we have a locked owner's closet. Uh, and this way to the three bedroom, three baths, this is the uh, bathroom for guests, but it also has a separate entrance to this bedroom so that this bedroom has a private entrance. Oh, wow. Bathroom. And you can see we did a lot of black and white. We did a modern farmhouse theme or design. Um, here's the second bedroom. And this is my favorite bathroom. It just has a stand up shower instead of a bathtub. Oh my gosh. The details that you have put into this property are absolutely amazing. Who, who helped you with that? Well, my contractor, Chris, mm -hmm. was just fantastic. He and his crew really are responsible for the construction, how beautiful everything looks. Who man did all the design work. Okay. Um, he did the layout, the lighting, the electrical. He did such an amazing job on this property. Um, but but certainly the the work the craftsmanship and the construction is all due to Chris okay. and his team. Now, did you furnish it yourself or? I did. I well, uh, mostly I did have a designer come okay. and help me with the details, the the design. She did a Texas theme, um, okay. which I absolutely love, uh, and she helped me with all of those details, those Texas elements that we added. And it's important to have a great team. And we, we've talked about that when you came over for the steak dinner of having a great team around you to ensure that everything goes smoothly. I don't see how it's possible without. Uh, there's no way from the, from the very beginning, jet lending, getting the money so that I could do this whole project, trusting me, even though it was my first one. Um, and, and, and from there, connecting me with Ehab, who is my mentor and really helped me, walk me through this entire process connected me with all the people that I've talked about, my designer, uh, my contractor. There's just no way. There's no way I could have done this project without. Hey, and it all started by one little event that was out at Chris Bounds. She walked up to my table and said, Rob, I want to be an investor, basically. How can you help me? And I, we talked and talked and talked. And then eventually I said, you know what? I think you need to meet my friend Ehab. 
And we, we actually have told that story. You were hesitant, and I was like, no, uh-uh, Ehab, call her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, oh, I don't need Ehab. <laughs> and I desperately needed Ehab. I mean, that conversation, that phone call um, really changed my life. There's there's no way I would do this, would have done this property without having that phone call with you, which connected me to Ehab, which connected me to, to this amazing team. Yeah. All right, hey, let's show us this uh, surprise in the back. All right, right this way. Now, what do we have back here? It's all completed, and man, it looks great. So, this started out as a garage with two apartments, mm -hmm. and we converted the garage portion to an apartment, and we also con c converted one of the apartments, which was a two-story, into two separate apartments. Okay. We, I got to you see how it. this turned out. Yeah. I got to. So we didn't add anything back here. This is a lifting building, all the square footage in the building. Our building just um, made beautiful what was uh, really old and dilapidated. Nothing has been changed, nothing's even there. I love the, on the awning. That, that's a good touch. It, it kind of gives it a modern modern mm -hmm. feel to, to what I, I'm, I presume is going to look like the front house as well. Come on in. Oh, wow. Barn door, nice touch, very nice touch. I mean, this just looks amazing. Thank you so much. And we are so proud of it. We feel excited about what's coming and, and how it all turned out. I mean Now all the units look like this, correct? They're all they're all just like this. A little bit of the design is a little bit different, but everything uh, uh, not the design, but the, the actual um, Decorations, the right? Decorations. But the design is the same. They're mirror images of each other. Okay. So on the bottom and then on the top. So let's talk numbers. All right. We had you alone. Total loan was three fifty. Three fifty mm -hmm. total loan. Total loan. And you refinanced recently. Congratulations on Thank that. Thank you. I have to know. Did you cash out any equity? Uh, I well, we did. We put um, a lot of money into it. Okay. On our own to Airbnb to furnish the property and, and decorate it and all of that, but. We only we we paid for this property. We paid about two ten, mm -hmm. um, and then we put about three hundred into it between the the rehab and the renovation um, costs, furniture, furniture, yes, all the yes. design work, yes. all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. when you refinanced, we, we, we put about three fifty in it. So we were five fifty all in. Okay, we refinanced. We got a hundred of that back. That's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. So now your numbers, what do you think you're looking at monthly as far as gross and net? Well, I mean, conservatively, I think that we will probably make about seven or eight thousand dollars a month. Okay. That's um, in your back pocket. That's uh yeah. No, that's that's net. Okay. I mean, that's gross. gross. That we think you know, look, it, people have told me that it could go up to as high as 10 or 12. Yeah. So we just don't know. This is our first property. We don't know what to expect yet. Um, my numbers so far have all been very conservative um, in my, you know, in my analysis. I, intentionally, I was conservative, mm -hmm. partly because I'm new and I don't know exactly what I'm doing, and partly because I wanted to be pleasantly surprised rather than. And you have been throughout um, this whole very process. Very much so. Yeah. I would say that you're going to be very surprised at the numbers that are going to come. Yeah. Out. I mean, I, yeah. th I think you're going to be somewhere around 16 a month. Wow. Well, uh, that's yeah, that's my thoughts, and yeah. it could be even more than that. It's, uh, it's also going to depend on the season, you know that. But sure, um, you just you've done an amazing job. This is your first rehab, and I'm glad. Uh, God, I'm glad we were able to help you. I'm so glad too. I appreciate you guys. I, I I can't tell you how how much I appreciate you. Awesome, awesome. Well, guys, hey, look, if you're looking to do one of these projects. We can help you. We can get you lined up with financing. We can get you lined up with a hard money loan, long term, short term. It doesn't matter. We can, we've got you 100% covered here at Jet Lending. Give us a call anytime, night or day. We've got your back just like we've got Heather's back and just like we, we guided her in the right, right direction to ensure that she was successful. Um, that's all we got for this time on Rob's Flybys. If you need to contact me, give me a call at 903 806-4400 or rob at jetlending.com. Thanks guys. Thank you so much Thanks for, for showing it to us. Thanks Thank guys. You.